আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি ডক্টর রশন আরা বেগম অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ফরেনসিক মেডিসিন বসুন্ধরা আড্ডিন মেডিকেল কলেজ টুডে উইল ডিসকাস দ্য কন্টিনিউশন অফ আওয়ার প্রিভিয়াস ক্লাস হেড ইনজুরি ইন্টারক্রেনিয়াল হেমোরেজ ইট ইজ এ হেমোরেজ উইদিন দ্য ক্রেনিয়াম দ্যাট মে ইনভলভ ইন হেড ইনজুরি দ্য ক্লাসিফিকেশন আর এক্সট্রা ডুরাল অর এপিডুরাল হেমোরেজ সাব ডুরাল হেমোরেজ সাব অ্যারাকনয়েড হেমোরেজ এন্ড ইন্টারসেরেব্রাল হেমোরেজ দিস ক্লাসিফিকেশন ইজ টার্ম অ্যাকর্ডিং টু দ্য প্লেসমেন্ট অফ দ্য হেমোরেজ অফ ডিফারেন্ট লেয়ার্স অফ দ্য মেনিনজেস ইন্টারক্রেনিয়াল হেমোরেজেস ইনভলভিং দ্য এক্সট্রাক্রেনিয়াল হেমোরেজ দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ব্লিডিং ইন দ্য ডুরা অ্যান্ড দ্য স্কাল অ্যান্ড ইজ অলমোস্ট ইনভেরেবলি ডিউ টু ট্রমা অলসো অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ ফ্র্যাকচার ইজ স্কাল এক্সেপ্ট ইন ইনফ্যান্ট অ্যান্ড চিলড্রেন ইন হোম দ্য ডুরা ইজ স্ট্রংলি অ্যাডহারেন্ট উইথ ইন আ সারফেস অফ দি স্কাল ইট অকার্স ডিউ টু ফ্র্যাকচার অফ দ্য ক্রেনিয়াল বোনস মোস্টলি টেম্পোরাল অ্যান্ড প্যারাইটাল বোন the injuring the sinus or meningeal vessels where life can be saved by aspiration of blood through bar hole method and mostly in case of traumatic cases causes of ex- extradural hemorrhage are rupture of the middle meningeal artery dural sinus and diploic veins it is a very important in medical legal aspect as patient may be discharged during lucid interval and die at home when the doctor may charge of negligence condition may resemble with de- drunkenness and the patient may die in police custody the prognosis of this condition is good if the treatment is properly done with bar hole method subdural hemorrhage subdural hemorrhage occurs when in subdural space between the dura and the arachnoid matter the hemorrhage occurs it is common in case of children and older age due to heavy shake of head in case of children it is commonly done in shaken baby syndrome usually it is seen contracopulation associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage most common sites are frontal parietal temporal or basal regions of the body it is common among the other hemorrhages about 18% unilateral or bilateral and may result from acute or chronic subdural hematoma subdural hemorrhage it is a traumatic origin following an assault or falls from height in 70 to 75 cases of accidents it accounts about 20 to 25 percent in case of accidents and can be due to secondary cause involving alcoholism and anticoagulant therapy the causes are rupture of bridging or communicating veins near sagittal sinus rupture of dural sinus interior cerebral vein and rupture of cortical veins sometimes also commonly occur in very aneurysm but it is rare in case of subdural space drugs involving anticoagulant warfarin heparin are common medical legal importance of this subdural hemorrhage is chronic type can result sudden natural death clinical symptoms may be mistaken with schizophrenia in young victims and presenile or senile dementia in elderly and it is lucid interval is as well as here also common subarachnoid hemorrhage it occurs between the arachnoid matter and the pia mater that is usually found at base of the brain or base of the skull it may be due to natural cause and also sometimes traumatic larger collection of blood in the subarachnoid space at the base of the brain are more common in natural diseases than the trauma in case of traumatic origin fracture of skull bones with the contusion of the cortex of the brain is found it is aggravated by alcoholic intoxication natural causes are rupture of berry aneurysm atherosclerotic condition a leaking into cerebral hemorrhage disease condition like purpura leukemia angioma also intracerebral hemorrhage is leaking traumatic causes are cerebral contusion and laceration explosion blast asphyxia by strangulation traumatic asphyxia prolonged hyperextension of neck during bronchoscopy now intracerebral hemorrhage this is may be found on the surface of the substance of the brain hemorrhage due to trauma occurs near the surface the common causes are hyper hypertension cerebral atheroma cerebral thrombosis and embolism blood dyscrasis neoplasm angioma cerebral abscess blow on head with or without fracture of the skull and also laceration of brain the very important part of this brain injury are diffuse axonal injury it is a condition in which there is diffuse injury to the axons with immediate loss of consciousness and coma of more than 6 hours due to rotational strains 
generated during impact to the head, the damage of the egg zone and blood vessels occur. It is the motion of head that causes injury to the head. It occurs due to vehicle accidents about 90 percent cases and falls from high also assault in 10 percent cases. It is categorized as mild diffusion, diffuse external injury, moderate and also severe. In case of mild, the coma persists for 60, 6 to 24 hours. In moderate diffuse external injury, the coma is more than 24 hours, but there are no clinical sign of brain stem dysfunction. And in case of severe diffuse external injury, coma is more than 25, 24 hours with brain stem signs. All this involves the most important part is lucid interval, the period of recovered consciousness between two bouts of unconsciousness. This is also termed in case of mental person compost mentis. Medical legal importance is a person can make a valid will on this condition, exerts all civil rights and can give dying declaration or dying deposition in deathbed. Medical legal importance as well as for lucid interval and head injury is the patient must be observed about the consciousness within 24 hours of the injury in the hospital as a sign of insidious onset of extradural hemorrhage may occur. Also post concussion syndrome, epileptic seizure, retrograde amnesia, Pondstock syndrome, finally drunkenness with alcohol and head injuries. That's all for today. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.